Just a few decades ago, 20% or more of children in Tanzania or Senegal were unlikely to see a fifth birthday. In the mid-1970s, just 5% of the children in developing countries received basic vaccines. As recently as 1988, there were 350,000 children paralyzed by polio. Malaria, meningitis or pneumonia meant death for millions of people living in the poorest countries. Today, there is a major transformation occurring right before our eyes. 80% of the children around the world are now vaccinated against some of the deadliest diseases, while new vaccines continue to emerge from the research pipeline. The world has seen a 25% reduction in deaths from malaria due to widening access to drugs, bed nets and other tools. Maternal deaths have declined 34% since 1990. Polio is close to being eradicated and new centers of expertise have arisen all over the world, ensuring that these solutions are sustained. How did this happen? Partners from the public and private sector joined forces, responding to this crisis as never before. It took leadership, partnership, resources and commitment from countries around the world, many of them from the EU. Here's an example. The vast majority of deaths from malaria occur in children under five years old. Yet until a few years ago, a medicine designed specifically for children did not exist. A new partnership between Novartis, Medicines for Malaria Venture and multiple partners, including European government donors, changed all that. Since the launch of Coartum Dispersible in 2009, 137 million of the cherry-flavored treatments have been delivered to 35 countries with hundreds of thousands of children's lives saved. The European Union has a strong history in helping lead the way to develop solutions for poverty-related neglected diseases. Of the 359 products in development, Europeans are involved in more than 40% of them. The EU is responsible for 15% of total global investments in this research and development. And these investments haven't just benefited the developing world, but Europe itself. 66 cents of every euro is reinvested back into Europe. This means thousands of jobs across the EU. But this unprecedented progress is under siege. The global economic crisis continues to threaten the discovery of solutions that we know may determine whether a child lives or dies. As the largest economy in the world, one that takes pride in collaboration and innovation, the EU can and must do more. EU funding for poverty-related neglected diseases research and development has delivered enormous health, economic and societal benefits for both developing countries and for Europe. Let's build on this success and strive for more. Innovation, partnership, leadership. The evidence is in. All of us, working together, can save lives and create impact.